All right, welcome to Muffins Cafe. This is Muffins Cafe. And for tonight's dinner, we got some chicken flavored sausage. We got some shrimp, overload shrimp, all up in here. Rice. Look at all these good homemade chicken strips by Muffins. Homemade baked macaroni and cheese. Okay. Wow, pork chops galore. And last but not least is a little bit of pasta for those little guys who don't like macaroni and cheese. So come on through. We're ready for you at Muffins Cafe. Bitch me folded, what? never that boy Can't lead a kill without the drugs and the gap no. If I wouldn't select, baby Yeah, that's on my back, boy Get ear to the max, boy Finny, that's a fact, boy I'm from a place where it's dark outside The late nights, you can't walk outside Bullets got the names on them Hit you when your homeboys ride As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why Uptown double H, man, it's be the five what? MP in the cut, what? yeah, we get it live Ayy Moses can't go to any hood, but connect some could, baby, some hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, till I couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Nice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. Hey, I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100. What's up, you guys? So, I'm up in here um, with my Stevie Wonder glasses on. Like, I can't see. I don't want nobody to see me without my lashes on. And plus, I just came from the gym. <laughs> you know, girl, I've been working it out every day. But I'm going to tell you this much. I'm going to tell y'all this. My fucking legs hurt so bad that I just want to cry. I want to get in the shopping cart and have somebody push me. I'm here at, um, I'm about to say I'm here at Sweetie Pies. I'm here at Sam's Club. I'm about to get some chicken and some pork chops because I'm going to make some soul food tonight. Watching that damn Sweetie Pies show got me in here. I really didn't feel like doing that today. I was looking for a um, soul food restaurant and I just, I did, I did find a couple out here. But I don't know. The pictures on the um, Google did not look too appetizing. Plus, I hate when people be like, best food in AZ. No, it's not. No, it's not. And from the looks of the picture, it definitely don't look like it. And there's quite a few of them out here. Um, there's a brand new one that opened up at the Desert Sky Mall. But I'm going to just pass on that one. It is the closest one to me. But I'm going to just pass on it. Because, like I said, the pictures don't look that appetizing. They have the cutest little girl clothes wherever you go. It don't even got to be Sam's stuff. They just be having the cutest little girl stuff. Look at this. I need, you, you know what? I'm going to have one of my grandsons turn into a girl because all these cute little girl outfits, like, look at that. I got nothing but grandsons. I got to look at sweatsuits and jeans all the damn time and cargo pants. I can't look at no damn dresses. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, who got a grand? Who got a daughter, a little daughter that I could adopt and make her my granddaughter? She could be like my grand goddaughter. Like I need a, I need a goddaughter. Somebody who's pregnant out there that want me to be the godmother. I am amazing grandmother, so I know I would be a good godmother. She can come over if she live in the town. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to keep her for the summer or none of that shit. But you know what I'm saying? I just, I just feel like I need me a nice little granddaughter, nice little goddaughter. I just, I want to buy a little girl stuff. I'm getting tired of passing it. Every time I come up into any store, I got to pass a little girl section. My only thing is to adopt or ad adopt. And I'm not about to adopt nobody. It's kids. Um, um, yeah. Just somebody who got a daughter. A little daughter. Want me to be their godmother. Just let me know. So I could just send her cute little stuff. That's all. I just want I just want to send cute little stuff. Do you know how much joy I would get out of buying little girl stuff? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that feels like that. I'm gonna make tonight, I'm going to make some chicken strips, pork chops, macaroni and cheese. I don't know what else, but that's what I'm making. I'm going to make enough to where I can invite over my son and his kids and his wife. Come on through and get some. Or should I make chicken thighs and chicken strips with pork chops? Because I like chicken thighs. What is baklava? I never had this before. Is it a meat? What is this made out of? Hmm, look at that baklava. What is that? And 
one this is four dollars what the fuck okay so one of these is three dollars and 98 cents or you could buy two for 6.96 well what the hell is it made out of it look like meat, but I don't think that's me. I'm not about to pay $4 for this. You guys tell me what baklava is, okay? I need to know what baklava is. Um, baklava that I'm not about to pay for. To give me a couple more things, and I'm about to get out of here. I know I look crazy. I just don't have no lashes on. I'm out of here. I'm going to get a couple more things, and then I'm going to go. So this is like the worst day ever. So I come outside. I don't know why my car is not turning on right now, but I'm about to have a fit. I have all these groceries in the car. I need to get home. My daughter's like, she'll be here in 20 minutes. I have my other truck at home, but I am about to have a fit. Like, this is not the fucking day for this. Like, seriously, it's not. And now I'm fucking mad. I know I was about to have a fit. I was about to break down in tears, okay? I was just so hot and aggravated. Like, you know, I had bought all those groceries and like, I really couldn't believe like it was happening to me. And it just was so weird out of nowhere because I pushed, I have a push start and a push start. So I pushed it, but when it came on, it came on like really slow. Like, and so my dumb ass was like, oh, let me see if it comes back on after I turn it off. And so it didn't come back on, but it kept clicking. And you know, like if you have like a regular car that you have to stick a key in, you can tell if it's like the starter or the battery. But if you have a push start, you you can't tell really, but it just kept clicking. And then it did say something on the dashboard about the battery. It started it's saying battery discharged and all of this. And I had to look it up and it was like, your battery is dead or whatever. So thank God I was at Sam's Glove. Thank God. God always be on my side. And I tell y'all this, I'm telling y'all, and I'm not saying this because I, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like, you know, I have faith in God and God is always on my side. Sometimes we might not have faith like we should, but just trust me when I tell you, he is always there. He be the one lurking and in a good way, making sure we okay. So he was definitely on my side. And I guess it was him telling me, push it and see if it'll come back on. Because if I would have pushed that button, somewhere else i wouldn't have, i would have been out of luck you know what i mean so that's why i say god is on my side when i i pushed that button and it didn't come back on look where i was at i had to calm down for a second and realize oh okay if you at sam's club they got loads of stuff here for sale you can easily buy yourself some girl you seen they have tires you need you know you need a two new tires in front but we're not about to think about that right now we gotta think how we gonna get this car home and my daughter tati she came through you know, she was just going, we were just going to have the car towed to Miguel, my mechanic, because I didn't know what was going on. So I decided to calm down while I'm waiting for Tati. I'm going to go inside. They took my groceries. They put my groceries in the freezer. The young man was like, we got battery testers. So I'm like, we can jump you and we can test the battery. So he tested the battery. And sure enough, he was like, the battery is dead. The battery is not even giving voltage like it's supposed to. It was the original battery to the car. Okay. Oh, my car is four years old. And um, normally batteries out here in Arizona, they do not last um, no longer than two years. Um, if you buy a cheap battery, it'll last you a year. I've had that issue. So the longest that I've had a battery um, was um, in my in my truck. In my truck, my truck right now was a little bit over two years. Um, I've had that battery replaced twice. and But the battery life out here is just not that great because of all the heat. Not only the battery life, but if you have like um, the fan belts, the belts in your car, they dry up real quick out here because of the heat. The paint jobs on your car because of the heat fucked up my truck, okay? And my other car, um, the, the paint job because of the heat. Um, What else? Your tires also don't last as long out here. And the AC systems in your car don't last as long. So like in New York, I wouldn't have to get my AC recharged, you know, for my truck or my, any of my cars, like the Freon or free I'll put in there maybe like every five six years out here it's no lie it's every single year you have to get free on put in your car for your AC to blow cold air so it doesn't last so I'm, I was shocked that that was the original battery and it said it was the original battery because it was the name in my car you can't buy those batteries from the store guys at Sam's Club was like wow I'm surprised the battery even lasted that long because you know they don't last no more than two and a half three years so I'm just glad that I was at the right place. Cooking strips right here. I got them right here cooking already. All right. 
I got some pork chops right here cooking. Okay. I got some more pork chops up there that got to be cooked. Since I'm about to put on the grill again. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Some scallions and shrimp because I'm going to put it in my rice. Okay. Let's hope and pray that I don't forget the sauces. But I'm about to take these socks off because it is too damn hot for these ugly socks. But they're not even ugly, but it's too hot for these compression socks. Did right you pull now. this sock off for my mom? I sure. You got to take it from the bottom part. Like, take it from right here and pull it. And I'll pull my leg. Okay? Yeah, there you go. Look at my handsome young man. Whoo, got it? Yes. Oh, thank you. Can I get the other one on? Yes, please. Yes, please. My feet are all swollen. Thank you. Oh, yes. Whoo, you got it. You are so strong. Oh, thank you. Look at my feet. Even with the socks on, they are still swollen. Oh, my God. My ankles and everything are swollen. And it is so sore right here when you touch it. Oh, my God. It hurts so bad. It just, you can see, like, speckles of blood clots and stuff in my legs. Right here yeah, there's a blood clot. Yeah, it's bad. It hurts. They really hurt. Thank you, handsome, strong man. Getting all dark colored. Woo, let's see those teeth that's missing. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, he is strong. Woo. Oh, dang. Oh, my goodness. Woohoo. And who, we going, we going to martial arts, right? We going to karate. Yeah. Yep. Why is pancake? Wow, who taught you that? Oh, you just learned it on your own? All right. I got to do a backflip. You are? No, cartwheel. Oh, cartwheel. Oh. JJ does, right? I know. I know. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I Uncle Shampo? That was Shampo. Yeah. He's blessed off. It was like this. Like this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I can't do it. Oh, wow. Well, I don't want nobody flipping off my furniture. Yeah, no, no. All right, welcome to Muffins Cafe. This is Muffins Cafe. And for tonight's dinner, we got some chicken-flavored sausage. We got some shrimp, overload shrimp, all up in here. Rice. Look at all these good homemade chicken strips by Muffins. Homemade baked macaroni and cheese. Okay. Wow. Pork chops galore. And last but not least is a little bit of pasta for those little guys who don't like macaroni and cheese. What's the matter? He thinks he's grown. He wants to get down and walk. Look at him. He's going to take off. Look at him. All right, little Rena. You cannot mess with other people's food, little Rena. <laughs> Why are you laying that face on the side? He got swoop <laughs> with some baby hairs. Okay, we put this up here. Put this on the um. It's whose pacifier is that? That's his. Oh, okay, I'm about to say I know the Saint Julian. No, he don't. Oh, okay. Look at you, Mister Fat Man Scoop, walking like you grown. Look at him. Look, look at him. Look at him, Mumsy. He be walking around like he's grown. He's in the cabinet. Are you gonna cook something? I think he likes it here better to walk around because it's more space to walk around. He ain't got to be bothered. Versus our apartment. He's walking three inches back to back. Oh. Look at him. He's just all happy in the cabinet. Oh, he's yeah. Like, oh, he's, he's, so corny. Bro. he's so corny. Yo, he is mad corny, right? Here. <laughs> Woo! Go ahead, the pampers. Oh, Mumsy. yeah. Mumsy stays crab walking. <laughs> Go ahead, the pamper. Basketball drills. Watch out. <laughs> Leave him. He's he's in the NBA right now. Time. Back off. Time. Back off. Yeah. Come on, man. Get out of here. Messing him up. Get yeah, out of here. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, LaPamper. Go ahead. Oh, shoot. Go ahead and dribble on him. Go, 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 go. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, 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 woo. Sound good? Wow. Is that, mm, this, is, this, is, this is new. It's a new flavor. 
<laughs> he really just went onto the plate and picked it up. You should have seen him, Mumsy. Hey. Yeah. Okay, it's good. You like my mom's pork chops? Wait till you try the oxtails. Okay. He's I'm still waiting on those. She's no, he's not. No, he told me. He told me he's waiting on those. Yeah, he talks. <laughs> Mumsy was like this. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm amazed. I, yeah. I know. Look at him. Look, look, look. He's like a little beast. <laughs> I know, right? Look at him. No, look at him, Jerron. Look at him eat. Look at him. He's having a good old day. He's having a good old time with the pork chop. Look, look at him. Look at him. Jalen, hey. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go, go, go.